Hi everyone, I'm Tina, the Creative Guru with Gems, Paper, Scissors. Today I am joining my fellow sisters in uh, Twisted Sisters YouTube hop. I am personally twisting the rain or shine thin cuts. I've been using the stamps a lot lately and I absolutely love them. So if you want to see a project that I am finishing up on Wednesday, join me for my live 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be doing a fun little duck layout with these boots. So, how did I twist this set? I took the boots, thin cup, and ran them through a wonderful run with my white daisy card stock. Then I am literally just going to turn it into a coffee cup. I have a, a gratitude card that I am making, so hang on while I go on ahead and get that completed. I have a four by five and a quarter piece of glacier, a slightly smaller, just quarter of a inch smaller piece of evergreen that I'm just going to place on top. I have some of our spring, let's see, I believe this is our, our bunny paper in our current catalog. <clears throat> I'm just going to put this down for some background change. And the wonderful little flowers. Really love the details there. And just be breaking up the pattern, right? <clears throat> there we go. Now, how am I going to turn this into a coffee cup? It's got a little more curve than typical, but that's okay. And I just saw these two edges, and I'm like, you know, I can go on ahead and run a ballpoint pen over. I've instantly got that little ring. But this is still really curvy, right? So I'm going to put down some really cute little background paper. It's going to go over run by a little bit. And that's okay because I'm all I'm doing is I'm hiding that little impression in the middle where the feet were and dropping that over it. And then I want to stamp a sentiment. So I'm going to actually use an old set. It's the Huge Thanks Business Builders stamp set. But honestly, you can use any stamp, any sentiment. Do you want mind, spirit, body? Do you want, we don't give up? Do you want to give a more of a teacup feel? You can pick something new or like welcome spring, or you can pick something from your stash. I'm using this as a thank you for a customer who just placed an order. And remember, all of our stamps are these wonderful clingy stamps. You peel it off the carrier sheet. Put it onto your block. Our blocks have a nice sharp ridge on the side that the stamp goes on to and more of a curve at the top to accommodate your fingers. <clears throat> I like to put my paper on the sponge insert. It helps absorb nicely for a nicer, smoother Im imprint. And I'm just Tapping my ink, I'm just using basic black. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you for your business. I'm going to quickly put this also on top of that wonderful card piece. And just like that. And then I'm going to use my scissors to trim that down. Now I could go ahead and just put it right there and you know that it's supposed to be a coffee cup. It could be a coffee cup, it could be cocoa, 
doesn't really matter. My gal is a coffee drinker. So she's getting the coffee cup. <clears throat> there we go. And took my scissors. And remember, on this side, it's more curved. I'm just going for more of a smooth look to finish getting that coffee cup. That's it. That's all there is to this twist. Very simple, straightforward, and yet amazing. I'm gonna tidy this up a little more because I got a little curvy, curvy. <clears throat> Versus having enough of a curve for a hand grip. I don't want a little too extreme. So I just tidied that up. And now I've got this really nice gratitude card for one of my customers. So if you're a small business owner, whether it is a crafting business, a multi-level business, a child care, it doesn't matter. Whatever your business, you can always do something similar. Or you can go ahead and make this as a gratitude for your best friend saying, hey, join me. Anyways, that's my twist on these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rain boots. Imagine. Started off with rain boots, ended up with a coffee cup. That's my twist. Thank you for joining me today. If you liked my video, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. And be sure to check back tomorrow to follow along on this Twisted Sisters YouTube hop. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time.